morning and welcome to PT Live. Uh, socially responsible investment is now getting increasingly important in the world of business. And today we're going to talk about this, how it looks in Poland and in the region. And we have with us uh, Magdalena Szniegotska, who is investment director of CVI. Magdalena, welcome. Um, Thank you. Thank you for having me here. You're very welcome. Um, is um, socially responsible investment something which is increasingly important in Poland as well as the rest of the world? I mean, how does it look in Poland? Mm -hmm. We actually see that uh, people are becoming more and more aware about uh, responsible investing. Um, I think there are more initiatives um, in public markets, in private markets, about um, responsible investing. For example, there was a recent uh, launch of VIG uh, ESG index uh, and uh, there and the are... Exchange, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, and and was uh, that popular? I mean, was there a feeling um, that, uh, that this was successful? Or? Well, I think that uh, it's probably yet to be seen. Um, I think there are some constituents in that index that uh, maybe not are yet ESG leaders, mm -hmm. but we'll see whether this could become a benchmark for ESG. But definitely, I think it's a positive step towards building an awareness about what responsible investing, what ESG is. And in private markets, for example, Polish uh, Private Equity and Venture Capital Association has launched an uh, uh, initiative to educate market participants, uh, both uh, investment managers and advisors, to actually uh, show them best practices from Western mm -hmm. Europe, what ESG is about. So I think there is an increasing uh, awareness about what ESG is, but still we are at the early stage of, of uh, ESG implementation. Sure, because I mean, you deal with very specific people who are not the people on the street. They are investors, they are people who want to invest money. And I suppose, you know, returns is still the bottom line for them. Uh, yes, so, so there are different strategies when it comes to uh, responsible investing. And uh, I think that um, in Poland, uh, especially, uh, the, the, the biggest popularity at the moment is uh, within exclusions strategies. So there are certain sectors that people select that they want to or don't want to invest in. Um, however, in private markets, uh, especially for buy and hold investors that are in the business or in the investment for the long term, I think it makes sense uh, to have a more active role in terms of what an investor can do or how an investor can influence um, how environmental, social and governance uh, principles mm -hmm. are implemented uh, both in the investment process and in the business that uh, they invest in. Okay, because I mean we're dealing with a few sort of acronyms at the moment because yes. you, you work for CVI yes. um, and then it's SRI is Social Responsible Investment yes. and then you just mentioned ESG which is Environmental social and governance. Maybe if we can start, what is CVI? Okay, so uh, CVI uh, is uh, basically a, a fund manager, uh, is a leading uh, private debt uh, investor in uh, Central and Eastern Europe. And you only operate in Central and Eastern Europe? Right? Yes, yeah. yes. So we are headquartered in Poland and we have currently 1.2 billion euros of assets under management and we invest in different uh, products. Uh, we invest in senior, junior, mezzanine and uh, private equity strategies. So um, uh, our uh, portfolio of companies is mainly in small and medium size enterprises and our investment ticket ranges between 2 to 20 million euros. So for us, the companies that we are dealing with or evaluating on a daily basis are the businesses that are uh, maybe already uh, maybe starting on, on, on their way uh, in terms of uh, putting in place appropriate reporting standards or maybe... Uh, so this is the governance part? Of yes, the this is the governance part. For example, in private debt strategies that dominate our portfolio, we are not necessarily in a position to influence uh, the operational uh, activity of the business because we're not a majority shareholder. However, via certain covenants or via certain KPIs that we include in our uh, documentation, uh, we can actually incentivize companies. So you actually, it's on your agenda to try to, let's say, move forward yes. with ESG. Yes, so we're not only focused on excluding certain sectors, mm -hmm. we, we try to 
influence positive change, but we are not as active, for example, as a private equity mm -hmm. investor would. would My be. understanding is that, let's see, in some countries, maybe in Western Europe, that, that you actually are not allowed to invest, or companies now have in their charters or whatever, they're not allowed to invest in, in stocks or funds which are um, not environmentally friendly, for example. And my understanding is Poland is a little bit behind, behind on that. Is that true or, or not? I mean... Well, I, I think it's, uh, it depends on, on also on the context uh, which, in which you ask this question. For example, uh, we talk to many institutional investors, asset managers, uh, fund of funds, uh, that evaluate us, a, our funds, um, as a potential uh, investment opportunity. And with Western European um, limited partners, we actually very often enter into this dialogue that, well, ESG is part of our due diligence questionnaire. We want to see that ESG is implemented in the investment process, in our investment process as, as, uh, as an investment manager. And, um, and, and even if it's not implemented, we want you as an investment manager to commit to uh, implementation of certain st standards. Okay. And for us, uh, we actually um, recently signed up to uh, United Nations uh, Principles for Responsible Investing. This is uh, called PRI, UNPRI. Um, and, uh, and, and this organization has uh, over 2,600 members uh, signatories that work together really? to, so to across to the whole world. Yes, that's and how many worldwide. in Poland or Central Europe? Uh, so Central Europe is twenty. Uh, really? So it's, so not so it's many. still it's still low. Obviously, we have to remember that both in terms of volume and value, uh, actually, this region is not as big as sure. as for example Western Europe, like. For example, in France, they have, I think, over 220 signatories. Okay. But still, I think that there is room for more people joining and, and committing to these principles. So, so from our perspective, we, we, we see that this is important. It's not anymore a nice-to-have feature for many um, international institutional investors. That's good to hear. And, yeah. and, and I think that it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a good way to actually promote this topic because if we are in an organization like PRI, for example, then uh, you know, we, we work on uh, implementing the same standards, but also we can measure whether or not there are differences between ESG-driven investment and non-ESG-driven oh. I mean, this investment. is, we've only literally got a minute left, so... Yes. <laughs> I mean, can you, this is obviously, again, you know, even to the most responsible investor, they're still looking at the financial results. So can, are you, you're starting to evaluate whether the ESG implementation can actually improve financial results too? Well, actually, that's, I got, think, sorry, the biggest, that's us. the biggest challenge, I think, that the investment community is facing. I think it's not that easy uh, to evaluate, and I think that's uh, is that because it's lack of lack of let's say history, or because well, it's just hard to the evaluate reporting it? standards. They need to be unified, and I think uh, there has to be similar ways to evaluate investments. So I think that's it's true. a future. It's, yeah. it's a future to come, but I think it will uh, hopefully uh, be something that uh, that. And is it something that I um, CVI is pushing? So standardization. So so well, it's it's the general broader community. I think. Uh, 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 Needs to come together. Yes, and and for us, you know, let's not forget we are not impact investors, so we don't invest for positive impact. We obviously invest to uh, provide uh, high risk returns. adjusted returns to our investors. And but we believe note. that ESG actually is is helping us to manage the risk adjusted returns in a in a good way. Oh, that's very good to hear. Well, thank you very much for coming. Thank and you. Talking to us. Thank, thank you. you.